Look at me today. The fairgrounds in town, and they've got a new ride. Yeah, the vomit comet. This is going to be the best moment of my life ever. It's the highlight of the year. Better than birthdays. Better than Christmas. Shh, Santa has spies everywhere. But yes, better than ten Christmases. Is this, this? I'm so excited I could pee. Sorry, fella. You're not tall enough for this ride. Maybe try next year, eh? What? You just let Leighton on, and he's three and a half weeks younger than me. It's not about age. It's about height, and you are under the line. Bad luck, buddy. I'll see you after. You too, I'm afraid. Safety first. But I'm a grown-up adult who is a teacher, and I have a bank account and a car. Sorry, Professor. Rules are rules. Well, this is a considerable blow to the evening's festivities. This is unfair. That's what this is. Maybe they should call it an unfair ground. Oh, oh, how was the ride, boys? We didn't get on it. He said we were too short. It's so unfair. How can he pick on us just because we're not as tall as the other kids? I'm sure he wasn't being mean. I mean, because if if you're too short, you might have slipped under the safety bar and been flung across the park. Whoa! That would have been better than not getting on at all.、Uh, you could have been hurt, so you just need to wait until you're a little bit taller, and then it will be safe to go on. Hmm? I suppose you're right. It still feels unfair, though. I can't help how tall I am. Well, be thankful you'll get older and taller. Some people get treated differently because of who they are and how they look for their whole lives. Stop kidding, Mummy. No one pushes you around when you're a grown-up. Except that lady at the cinema with a torch. Move up, yep. one down, two across. No, 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 no. Move、okay. up, one down, two across. That's right. Sit down, be quiet. Oh yes, hold. Are those your own snacks? No, I bought them in the. Shh. The film is starting. Be quiet. Sadly, that's not the case, Cam. Lots of grown-ups don't get treated equally by other people. Just because of where they come from, what colour they are, or even if they're a boy or a girl. That's madness. Yes, it is. So, we have to be grateful that it doesn't happen to us, and we speak up if we see people being treated unfairly. I will. Missing out on one ride was bad enough, but not being treated equally all the time must be horrible. Talking of equality, how come your dad's got all the candy floss? Good point, Mum. Give it here, Dad. Me, me, sugar. Ah, ah, my sweetmeats are under attack. What's on your mind, buddy? What my mum and dad were saying the other night. Equality is trickier than it seems, you know. In what way? Well, I've been keeping my eye out for it, but I think I'm getting it all wrong. Oh dear. Sounds awkward. Apparently, sometimes when you get treated differently, it's because of privacy. <laughs> sometimes it's because of the law. <laughs> and sometimes it's because of health and safety. Whee! They all seem like good reasons to me. Exactly. So how do I know inequality when I see it? I think you just know. If there's not a good reason for someone to be treated differently, it feels wrong. Hello. Hiya. Good morning. I'm Cam. What's your name? I'm Patney. Are you new? Yes, it's my first day. Are you nervous? I was so nervous on my first day, I could hardly speak. Settle down, class. We have someone new joining us today. Hello, everyone. My name is Dogston Dow. I mean, Ston Dow Dog. No, it's Dow Dogston. 
I have no idea what my name is. Thank you and welcome. Take a seat over there next to Camberwell. I'm sure he'll look after you. It took me a whole half turn to find out what his name was. Even then, he had to look in the back of my jumper. No, I'm not nervous. Just preparing myself to go in. I want to make a good impression. And maybe trying to remember my name too. You've got an easy name. No one can forget Putney. Why not? It rhymes with chutney. Mmm. Did you skip breakfast? Oh, uh, hello. Uh, you could be just the person I'm looking for. Oh, really? How's that then? My son was at the fairground the other night and uh, he left his top hat behind. Ah, a natty looking piece of millinery, was it, sir? Yes, I suppose it was. Tall, shiny and grey, was it? Yes. With a fetching black band around it? That's the one. No, sir, I haven't seen it. You haven't, uh, what? I haven't seen anything like that. No hats, caps or helmets or halos. No headgear at all, in fact. But what's that? Ah, this? This is my top hat, sir. Yours? Yes, why not? I can be as fancy as the next man, sir. Just because I wear overalls all day doesn't mean I can't oh, be posh no, when I want to. No, 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 no. You should uh, learn not to uh, be so judgmental, uh, sir. Oh, dear. Don't uh, judge a book by its no, cover. I, I'm sorry if I offended you. Um, It's just that that does look very much like... <laughs> I'm just joshing with you, sir. Of course I've got your son's hat. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. For a moment there, I thought you Here were... Here it is. Uh, uh... Hi, Putney. How was your first morning? Pretty good, thanks. Anything exciting happen? Well, I couldn't find the toilet. I forgot my lucky gonk. And I called the teacher mummy. Standard Monday, then. Did you make any friends? Not yet. I asked the girls over there if I could join in their game, but they said no because I wouldn't know the rules. And I should go back to my old school if I wanted to play games. What are they playing? Tag. That's not fair. Just because you're from a different school doesn't mean you're stupid. I'm going to go and tell them to let you play. You don't have to do that. Oh, I think he does. He's very big on quality, you know. Is that right? Yes. Ever since we went to the fairground. Eh? Right. They said it's OK. Thank you. Do you want to come? We're not allowed. Why not? They don't want boys to join in. In that case, I'm not going. Why not? Because I don't want to play with anyone that would be mean to my friends just because they're boys. Are we your friends then? Well, you're not treating me differently just because I'm new. So, yes, if you want to be. My colleague and I have conferred on the subject. And we'd like to take you up on your offer. You're weird. So they say. Thanks for taking such good care of the hat. Uh, my son will be very pleased to get it back. Not at all, sir, not at all. It's a key criterion of the Carnival Code, to treat lost property as if it's your own. Oh, that's very honourable, I think. All part of the service. Oh, uh, one other thing. He also lost a monocle. I don't suppose you found one of those. I'm afraid not, sir. No monocles, spectacles or goggles or patches. No eyewear at all, in fact. OK, never mind. Uh, you will let me know if you see one, though, won't you? I'll keep an eye open for it, sir. Today was so much fun. Even though you couldn't play tag at lunchtime. Those girls were mean. Maybe a bit, but most of them ended up playing with us that afternoon break. True. I think they were just wary of playing with someone different. Being different is fun. If people were all the same, we'd know all the punchlines to each other's jokes. And we would always know where to find each other in hide and seek. And you wouldn't be able to find your friends at lunchtime. Vive 
la difference. You're odd. Well, that's okay. We like you that way. It's French for long live difference. Don't you do French at this school? No. Oh, how was school today, Cam? It was pretty cool. There's a new girl that started from a different school. <laughs> oh, what's she like? She's really nice. Some other girls didn't want to play with her, but she didn't get angry or anything. Mm, oh, oh, well, she sounds very grown up. Oh, I like her already. I suppose she is. Not like you and Dalston, then. What do you mean? I've seen you two laugh at a potato for half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> It looked just like we her. We know. She speaks French too. Ooh la la. And she plays the flute. Lovely. And she sounds quite different from you and your other friends. Have you got much in common? Only one thing, but it's the most important. What's that then? We think people being different is what makes them special and wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> <laughs>